Hey guys, it's your girl Blessed with Faith today with another YouTube video and today I'm here to share and talk about toxic people. My first year of college, um, I had a lot of people in my life that I thought were cool and to voice their opinions on how they viewed me and that reflected on how I saw myself. I had no self-esteem issues. I was completely fine, but because I cared about their opinions more than I cared about my own, then it became their self-esteem issues had laid upon my heart. They they made me feel as if maybe there were things that I need to improve on. And that is true. There are things that I do need to improve on, but it was the way that it went about. If the people you care about, that you care about and love, are pointing out your flaws, but it's more of a critique. Like, they want you to, say, if, like, for example, um, I have experience where someone that I really cared about um, saw me as fat. And, in fact, uh, there was a guy that I liked, and he said that um, I find you unattractive because of your belly. And, you know, my stomach is not not the flattest, I'm going to say. Obviously, I do want to, you know, I want to get the little 11 with the little, and I want to work out. But this individual will never work out with me. So, it hurt to, I mean, at first it was like a little joke, and I was like, oh, right? But then when it became a serious sit-down conversation, that's when I realized that their toxic trait was painful. And it had now been something on my mind consistently. Like, when I looked in the mirror, I saw my belly. I always thought about how I could suck it in. I would try to work out, but my working out was not an effort of my own self-love. It was because I wanted to change who I was. It wasn't because I loved who I was. There is a difference. So, I'm saying this from personal experience that life, if there are any people in your life that you care about and you love, and they are pointing out your flaws make and you feel in a way that you cannot see the value that you are, the king and the queen that you are, it's time to cut them. You need to cut them. Let me stop. But you need to cut them out your life because people are draining. Um, I had to understand that because I like love being around people and I love people. Like I care genuinely about people. And because I cared so much about people, I allowed people that I cared about who didn't care about me at that same level to pull me down, to take what was valuable internally and crush it. Um, so for anyone out there who has experienced someone that they care about in any way, um, take talk about you in a way that, that, that shouldn't have never been talked about. Anyone who's ever made, like, I want you to know that whatever it might be it might be that you now have like anxiety you might have that measure that moment of depression like you're not good enough uh, of this whole world everything has gone wrong i've tried hard but nothing is working i want you to know there is someone out there who loves you and loves you with all your flaws he loves you regardless and that that dude is god god loves you he said you know what we're not perfect we sin we do things that our parents are not going to be proud of but you know what he said he said i will take you and i will love you and i'll love everything about you and i know everything you do but i still i'll still i'll still have my son die for you and everything you've done wrong everything that you've done right i will i will love you will you love me too and i think that is amazing so um, I just wanted to share that small blurb of a testimony because um, I had to, I kept hearing that message over and over after, after that, like, that kind of, that emotional term oil. And I didn't think that what people said bothered me as much. And honestly, what other people genuinely say that aren't close to me in that, like, bubble your opinions don't matter as much i'm so sorry but the people who are in my circle people who i love 
it hurts when I genuinely like you and maybe when we don't hang out every day but if I genuinely like you and I want to hear your opinion on things if all you do is bring me down it don't help progress me like okay like that that person that I had a crush on um like wouldn't go to the gym with me right but would call me over like fat like there's not there's no necessary like if there is someone in your life who will critique you in a way that isn't for progression they're not going to help you get there and you'll see if you're like okay so yeah i totally see where you're going from oh do you think maybe we can do this together oh no honey like you'll see people's colors like at the end of the day when you are when you're having a hard time will that person be there for you in the same way like not that they need to but there are signs on when to, to cut these toxic people in out of your life and i'm not saying all of us are perfect because we're not but there maybe you need to give a get a break you maybe don't hang out with them every single day every single weekend maybe you need to go a couple months without seeing them you can love someone from a distance and i had to learn that i had to learn that at a very young age to love people from a distance because not everyone knows how to love you but you need to love you thank you so much for watching this youtube video please if anything i said to you like kind of resonated with you please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button because i just want to there's so much that i want to share and you guys are kings and queens you guys are royalty you guys are beautiful okay